Admirals Men Master Beast Theatre! With Richard Burbage and a lot of swords! <laughs> Burbage, now if we put you set up any different, you look lovely. Uh, and I was just jesting about your performances, I actually admire them far more than Nettle Lane. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, hello, Ned! Hello, Ned! <laughs> Now, uh, <laughs> uh, what, what is your favourite letters of the alphabet? Good sir, what is your favourite letter of the alphabet? Q. Q? Q? How is Q your favourite letter of the alphabet? <laughs> name, five, name five words that begin with the letter Q. Quiet. Quiet. Cucumber. It's a good try. We got two. Cucumber. Quizzical. Cat. Cat? He's the one playing. One more. Quail. Quail. Huzzah! Shall we tell a story of a quail? Yeah, let's tell a story of a quail. So, my lords, my ladies, what we should do now is tell you a story going through every letter of the alphabet, and we should begin with the letter Q, which should be a story of quail. Quail are a wondrous creature. In fact, there was one so wondrous that was of the name of Floppy. Floppy the Queen. Really? I guess I can't start with that. <laughs> really? <laughs> Proclaimed the quail Floppy, but he looked at himself in the mirror and noticed that his youth had called away. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, it was a dream. He was still very young and sprightly. <laughs> Sadly, Bones flourished for his young sprightliness as the quail did to rebirth himself and fly upon the soft winds of autumn. <laughs> We're going to get to a plot soon, isn't she? <laughs> Unfortunately, as the world knows, the most devilish creature that hates all quail is the hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a hippopotamus named George that loathed Floppy a lot. Verily, George did to appreciate quietly some cookies as he did to continue his journey. Yeah, wait, hold on. We're telling the story about the quail named Floppy and a hippopotamus named George. 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 I was correct, continue. W. Um, walking along, George and Floppy did to come into a mystical town where they had business. Fire oh, the phone business. <laughs> uh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Yonder, beyond the xylophone business, there were evil forces gathering against Floppy and George. Floppy, Floppy. 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 Floppy and George. <laughs> like they bring. The zoologist would be confused by this story. <laughs> oh, why a quail and a hippopotamus would become friends and being known enemies for their entire lives was beyond the zoologist. But they need to join forces. You see the big stage? At that you? very moment, oh, yeah. the zoologist who had been plotting all of this akin to a god yes, yes. burst forth near the xylophone shop <laughs> and said, on the back side of that stage, and you're five guys. <laughs> I don't like your story! <laughs> Uh, I know, I just, I just, <laughs> words do not describe, just emotions. <laughs> Carefully, George and Floppy backed away from the angry rabbit zoologist. <laughs> Dangerously though, the <laughs> rabid zoologist approached them with wings that did to expel from his back and throw him down upon Floppy and George. Everybody died! <laughs> wait, wait, this isn't a Shakespeare play! <laughs> 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 yeah. 
They go to hell. <laughs> that was my sentence, Kirby. Everybody dies. <laughs> F. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I've got a way to revive this. Yeah. Right. Ah. <laughs> Falling deeply into the abyss that was the hell that awaited all the zoologists, Bobby and George. <laughs> it's a monoplay then, hell now, continue! Wait, I was waiting for your punctuation! Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation <laughs> point! Like, Blobby and George! Sounds good. Is there a dub, dub, dub there at the end? Hey! Get to the point! Get to the point! So we can be Get out of this game! <laughs> Games we should play, said Sleazy One! <laughs> What one of them should be the one word letter story game. <laughs> Happily though, George and Floppy were in hell, so they didn't have to deal with that zoologist. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. Igniting themselves from the flames of hell like a phoenix that did to rise from the ashes, they did to regain their strength, and like a mighty force that could not be reckoned with, they were rebirthed upon the good land that they lived on. They were like Holy a lot of words here. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very layered story. <laughs> and not only that, you're teaching him. He's learning. He's getting better. Oh no. <coughs> be afraid, be very Just very as afraid. their heads begin to crown for their new births, <laughs> their mother did you did you make them a scream at of joy! <laughs> I'm trying to bring it back. Uh, How many letters do we have left? Hey, okay. <laughs> Please just hurry. <laughs> what is Jordan's favorite letter? Killing me so killing, killing me so <laughs> came out of the womb. So that mother did to proclaim, I will never give birth to these again, again. Stop with that motion. <laughs> How's that motion going, Abe? It goes like this. Try <laughs> <laughs> <Right>, your else. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Sang the baby as it came out. <laughs> <laughs> we have some really real problems with continuity. <laughs> um, Amongst other this, things. The director might tell me what's up. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting shot by arrows. <laughs> they really like our methods. Come on in. Yeah. M. So Meanwhile good. in Albuquerque, <laughs> Jim and Sam bought a house. <laughs> in near <laughs> the border. <laughs> Only if they never had bought a house near that border, they would be so much happier. Perhaps so happy that they wouldn't even be able to be married. But alas, it was not legal. <laughs> and we're back around the human. My Lord! We are the Admiral's Bay! And this is the Admiral's Bay! Masterpiece!